Gunnery is a very important task that, I mean, all crews must complete at some point, simply because it enhances our crew cohesion, and not only that, but our lethality. If we were to actually have to go out and fight the enemy, I'm completely confident that our crews would be able to get it done. Uh, so both Axman and Banshee Company, uh, sim uh, sister company from 137 Armor, are out here conducting crew level gunnery uh, to get after our uh, crew level lethality. We're part of the training glide path to go from crew all the way through company Calfex to meet 5th Corps training guidance. Uh, and so we've been able to maintain a very high level of uh, operational readiness right here at the range. Uh, and so I'm confident to say that the majority of the company will be able to fire off their own tank uh, and qualify. Uh, so it's 100% important to the crews to be able to come out here and do gunnery, uh, mainly because it enhances those individual crew tasks uh, that aren't necessarily honed all the time and can be forgotten, such as reloading the main gun, bore sight, um, even just MRS update for the tankers that know what it is. Uh, it's, it's crucial to continue to refresh on those tasks, and gunnery is one of those times that they really get to really hone in on it. <laughs> Uh, so it, it definitely, it facilitates the growth mainly by kind of trial by fire, kind of you got to get out there, you got to learn it at some point. And even when things get hard, you still got that battle buddy beside you that's saying, hey, let's get up, let's go shoot, and let's get it done. So I couldn't be more thankful for them. Uh, my name is Captain Austin Bajak. I'm from Hackettstown, New Jersey, and I'm the commander of Ax uh, Axman Company, 137 Armor, Tank Company. Uh, so both Axman and Banshee Company, uh, sim uh, sister company from 137 Armor, are out here conducting crew level gunnery uh, to get after our uh, crew level lethality. We're part of a training glide path to go from crew all the way through company Calfex to meet 5th Corps training guidance. It's important for our unit level readiness. Uh, we are training from crew level through company. Uh, so we are both uh, ensuring that our crews are ready for our own training uh, for NTC coming up in 2025. Uh, additionally, it helps support our NATO allies here uh, because we're postured to uh, support and defend uh, our European allies. Uh, wonderful. So the tables uh, test different things. And so we go through tables three through six at the range here, uh, three being uh, dry fire, so there's no bullets, uh, four machine gun pure, five uh, is with scaled targets that are smaller, and the table six, the actual qualification table, uh, is where we, um, we qualify our crews. Uh, what it looks like, there are multiple engagements uh, that test different things. Uh, and so, for instance, some engagements degrade the tank. So your laser goes out, how do you battle sight your tank? Um, if the stability goes out, how do you, go, how do you uh, engage targets without your weapon system being stabilized? Um, and then additionally, there are multiple targets. So uh, there's new, a new gunnery table that we're firing currently uh, in accordance with the new doctrine that has just been released. And so now there are the so-called Widowmaker, in which there are four targets presented, so a platoon-sized element um, being engaged and destroyed by one tank. Um, so lethality looks like uh, two different things. One is how do I fight my tank through different issues that I have with it? And then additionally, how do I engage multiple targets uh, rapidly uh, and two standard? Uh, so those are the two major training things that we get after here. Uh, so first and foremost is qualification. Uh, so being able to achieve a certain score on the gunnery tables. Uh, but additionally, being able to qualify on your own tank. Uh, and so we've been able to maintain a very high level of uh, operational readiness right here at the range. Uh, and so I'm confident to say that the majority of the company will be able to fire off their own tank uh, and qualify. Um, additionally, there is a platoon uh, competition between each other. And so uh, 900 uh, or above out of 1,000 is shooting uh, distinguished. And so each of the platoons are chasing after that goal within their own crews to shoot both uh, the highest within their platoon, the highest in the company, and then finally top tank in the battalion. Uh, so it's fantastic. I think that uh, what ends up happening is uh, the crew becomes very close. Uh, it leads to very close and co uh, connected, cohesive platoons. Um, and then as a company, like there is a, an extreme amount of pride and esprit de corps that is built. Uh, and it all happens or it starts at that crew level, but it just lends itself you know, at the platoon and company level. So very cohesive unit. Uh, when it comes to um, operating day to day. Sure, uh, so I think uh, a couple of things, and I'll kind of break it down by echelon. So first, uh, at the crew and tank level, uh, it's been eye-opening to operate, because we're used to desert, fort bliss, hot conditions, right, when we execute gunnery. Uh, 
operating in icing conditions, the tank responds differently, has different issues to fight through, um, even down to like the lubrication of our weapon systems. And so like fighting through those challenges, we're capturing them uh, and we're going to include it in our tax op so that future units that come through are going to be able to understand how to operate their tank to a very high level uh, within these cold and icy conditions. Um, so that's, that's a huge lesson learned from the crew level. Um, at the platoon level, uh, so we are storing our ammunition on the tanks uh, for each gunnery table. And so uh, it is beholden upon the section sergeants, the platoon sergeant, um, to have very accurate log stat reporting for ammo accountability uh, in addition to uh, POL. And so what's that, what that's placing on our tankers is a uh, higher level of responsibility at the NCO level, um, at the section and platoon level. Um, and it's been really phenomenal to see that kind of come together. Uh, and that's going to only help us even more when we're in the field and, uh, and are operating under more austere conditions. Um, but it's been a very positive lesson that we've been able to carry forward with us. And then at the company level, uh, I think just conduct of the range uh, has been phenomenal. Uh, we've been able to pull in some external VCEs for Gunnery Table 6, um, but before then it's been run by the, by the two companies. And I think what's ended up happening, our two companies uh, have become very close together. Um, we've become a very cohesive unit, both companies, and I think that's going to lend itself very well uh, for a maneuver when we're going to be supporting each other on the battlefield uh, in training uh, to uh, execute uh, maneuver training. So, uh, No, it's, this has been a great experience and I'm looking forward to uh, continuing to train with this company.